Hi, this is Blockchain Brand. Welcome to another episode of the Swim Smart Contact Movement series. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a new Swim Move package where you can add your smart contacts. So, head over to your VS Code and your file explorer. Head over to the folder where you want to write your smart contacts. So I'm going to write my, write my smart contacts in this folder today. So I'm going to drag and drop it to my VS Code. Um, so head over to your terminal at the top. Click on terminal, new terminal. So before we start, let's make sure we have three clients. Let's check the version of our three clients. So put C clients version so we have version 1.40 installed on our pc so to create a new package let's see how we can create a new package so let's put swing move and that's cool so we can that just help so to create a new package we have to use the command swing move new so we move new then the package name i'm going to call my package hello world so if you look at um your vs code at the explorer session you're going to see we have a new package a new folder called hello world and also while creating a new sweet new package make sure your package name does not start with a number so I can not something like zero hello world. It's not going to work. It's a long package name. Make sure um, your package name starts with a later. Then you can continue with numbers. So I can call my package name with three. So I can say swim move new with three. And if you look at it, our new package is created. Or I can say something like um, hello world. Hello. Can I say hello underscore with three? Um, underscore one q1 so this is going to work so this is a valid package name so why name your why name your packages um be careful and make sure you only start with our lower case and then you can't continue with um numbers and underscores so i'm going to delete the other package i created to make three and um hello zero and three q1 Okay, so going down to the directory of Hello World, we have the sources folder which contains Hello World of Move. So we are going to spend most of our time here coding, writing our smart contacts. So smart contacts are made in here in this Hello World of Move. So if you look at it, this Hello World is um it's our package name, Hello World of Move. Then we have a test folder. We are going to be writing tests for our smart contacts. Um so after writing our smart contacts, we don't need to always deploy them to check if they work out we want to watch it to. So we can write tests for them so they're going to be using these tests folder then we have on the git ignore folder so why after we build our, our smart contacts there's going to be a folder called build so for us to push that to our data repository this git is not folder so when we are pushing it it's not going to add this build on folder so we are going to see the build for that when we build our, our smart contacts so i'll come back to this then we have the move .tommy. this move .tommy file contains dependencies and configuration for the package so we have three important sections here so we have the package the dependencies and the address they are very important they must be uh, in the common file so coming back to the package we have hello world this is our package name so if you look at it so we call our package hello world so this is the package name the addition we have 24 beta it was beta because we also have legacy that was um pre-2024 but right now we are using 24 beta and then we have dependencies um, dependencies are external libraries of frameworks used they are going to be using in, in our package so we are using this remote um, dependency called SWE so this is the way for you to add um, remote dependencies to your package so and also we could also add local dependencies so to add local dependencies just come and local then replace these parts with a part of your uh, local dependencies then we have this section called address um, so if you look at this 0 and 0 this 0 and 0 it's, is our package the address for assigned to our package so our package is 0 and 0 so instead of we calling 0 and 0 everywhere we can just assign this package to our package name called hello world 
So this package at uh, this address is being assigned to Hello World. So instead of which to just always call it to the Excel, we can just call Hello World. We don't want to call our package. And then we have their dependencies. Their dependencies we can override this existing dependencies here in dev and test mode so let's say we are in dev and test mode and we don't want to use this sweet remote dependencies here we can just impute the dependency we want to use but only on um, dev mode and test mode so we we'll understand this concept better when we start writing um, move codes then we have the dev address also then this also overrides our addresses here so let me give an example let's say we have this alice address address here this alice address this 0xa11c as Alice address, so we can override it here. We can override it here in dev addresses in dev mode and test mode. So instead of using this zero um, x e e one one c, we can use zero x b zero b as the address in dev and test mode. So all these concepts will be clear when you start writing move code. Okay, coming back to the sources folder. This is where we're going to be writing our smart contact, and most of our codes will be written here. So first of all, to write our smart contacts, we have to start with module. So module are building blocks for our smart contacts. So we have to use the keyword module. The next thing you have to put is your package name. So our package name is Hello World. Hello underscore world. Then you have to put the um you have to put double columns, two um two columns, two double columns. Then the next thing you have to do is the module name what just name your module i can still name my module hello world so i put um a column so with this we, we can now build our package so to build our package let's just seek for help so put c remove oh, that's gone. sorry that dash help so to build our package we have to use sway move builds to build our package so we have to put sway move build but if you do this, it's going to fail because why we have to specify a path, the path to where our package is. Um, so let's see if we have three move build that just help. So if you see, we have to push the package, the path to our package. So now let's do that. So let's do three move build dash dash um paths. Then our paths, the path is hello world, part of our package. So we have to put hello that's called world so our package our package is building so if you look at it it says updating its dependency so this dependency here the move dot terminal file it's actually updating it and downloading the dependency so if you look at it two dependencies we are downloaded from uh, this three remote dependencies so we have this three um package and so we have we also have the uh, move standard library downloaded in this from this um uh, remote dependency then our package is being built successfully. So now we also have this file called the move.log file. Um, so this move.log file contains, um, it, it tags down the versions of our dependencies. So if you look at it, we have the SWE and, um, we have the SWE dependency and the move style library dependency. Oh, uh, sorry, package from both of the SWE dependencies downloaded. So these are the two packages that came from the, this dependency here. The dependency downloaded then just like i said look at this build um folder so we don't need to really need this folder we want to push our folder to github so this um folder is being ignored so it's specified in the, the git ignore file so when pushing our, our codes to github this folder is being uh, omitted because it's not really needed coming back to this this um packaging like i said coming back to remove the terminal file our package name is assigned to zero x zero, so we can equally replace this hello world with zero x zero, and our package is going to build. So let me build the package again. Our package is still going to build. So if you look at it, our package still builds. So just like I said, instead of you putting um zero x zero, um, you know sometimes addresses are long. It can be very long. So instead of you to put it to be putting log address, you can just replace it with um hello world which is our package name and also there's something you can see do here you can you can also see fine let's change this thing to web3 so i can change this hello world to web3 but if i change this thing to web3 and 
I don't change this hello world to web 3. Our package is going to crash while building. It's going to bring out errors. So if you that it's um an error um, an error came up, so he said address hello world is not assigned to a value because our compiler does not need this hello world because it doesn't have a value. So what we can do is to change this thing to web 3 also. So now if I change this to web 3, it's going to build now. Going to build it at errors. Um, but the best way to name our um, the address for our package is by using our package name. So look at it, it builds correctly. But the best way to sorry, the best way to to name to our address is for our package to give it the same name as our package name. So I'm still going to name it Hello World. Then Hello World. And also, um, let's write um, a hello world code. Let's write our first uh, smart contact. So, let me write a function. So, to write a function, you have to give it public fun. So, fun means it's fun is same thing as function. Then, give it a function name. Sorry, public fun. Let me call our function name hello. then um let's say our function returns a string so this i can use um, i can import string from our standard library so you know um, we imported from these dependencies um sui um, std that's std standard library was also was a package brought in from this dependency so i can use it so one way to import packages and modules to your uh, to your smart contract is using use the use keyboard. So I'm going to use use std. Yeah, I'm going to import string from std. I'm going to take the package string. So I'm going to take the module string. So from this um, std package, I'm going to bring in the module string. Then I can now take the struct or the data type string from it. Then let's see my package. This hello world returns a string. So this is how this is which we write a function to return. The value so I'm going to return a string then let me see our well, string returns um this is to write strings so let's have our function returns hello world and like this now this is not a string it's just a byte so we have to convert this to a string so we have to do dot to string to convert it to string sorry that's to string to convert it to string. So we look at it to, to actually return a value from a function. We don't really need to put the return keyword, but you can choose to put this optional. So if you look at it and it still works. So it's not really necessary for you to put the return um keyword for it to for you to really return a string or any value. So I'm going to move the return keyword. So to actually check if our this our function returns this hello world string we sh we don't really need to deploy our package first. We can actually write a test for it to test if our smart contract really returns the hello world. So let's come back to our test folder. Then let me uncomment this. So these are comments. There are different ways to comment. So one of the ways to comment is putting a it's actually putting um two two four slash. So that that's one way to comment. So if you look at it now, here is a comment. Here's the comment. So if I put two for slash, I've, I've um, commented it. Then allow it to comment. If I say I want to comment this whole code, want me to comment this whole code is to put um, a for slash and understand at the beginning and also at the end of the code. So I can just put a an asterisk and for slash. So I've commented this whole block. So let me uncomment it. Then let's test out our our um our smart contacts. So what I told you. We use the use keywords to import packages and uh, to import modules. So now let's say I want to import this hello world module. Now this hello world module. And now let me change the name to like hello sweet. So now let's say I want to import this hello sweet module to my test. So now first of all, I have to use the use the use keywords. Then the package name. What is our package name? Hello world. 
hello world then i'm now going to access the module hello hello sweet so i've accessed the module hello sweet so now i want to test my i want to test my um my function which is the hello function so what i can do i can import um print debug and um, print from the std that is the Swiss standard um library so i can also use there was my um package name is std then what module do i want i want debug so i want from the debug module so from this i can now see debug i cannot access the print function from debug so let's see debug um print so print so now what are we going to print first of all let me bring in our hello function from this hello world um from this hello sweet module so we have the function hello world so i can say from hello sweet hello sweet i want to access hello so this is our hello function so what do i want to do i want to print it so i want to really see if our function is returning hello world so i'm going to print it so i'm going to cut it here and paste it so i have to put and and before printing what i'm supposed to print so most of this is to be clear to you later on when you start learning more of it so now let's um, run our test function so i can still come to our terminal and put we move help to see how to run tests so if you look at it we have sweet move test so if i, I can write sweet move test to test our smart contacts um sorry so we have to um declare the part also so we have to put three so okay one well, way we still need to um declare that you can just change your directly to the um to hello world so let me change my directly instead of me to always um put in the parts i can also um change my directory to the to the hello world directory so i can also see the last change directory to hello world so I've changed and I can also build I can also build without putting the parts. So I can also swim with build because we don't need the part again since we're already in the hello world um direct directory. So I can just build without putting in a part. So I can do the same thing with this. I can I can I can just put swim move yes to test our smart contact if it really works the way we want it. So it's building and if you see yeah. It's printed hello world and it passed good tests. Now let's return our first smart contact. So see you in the next video.